Hello everyone, welcome back to Golden Final Spin Cafe. Uh, this episode is going to be a lot different than all the other ones. I came up with this great idea, kind of stole it from someone else. Bamboo doing, we're doing our own little twist on this, okay? So, it's a little game, a little game. So what we're going to do is the BS. Picking the BS out of what we're... Records. Records. <laughs> So, Becky's going to pick three albums from my collection and then give me them one by one and then I have to tell her stuff about that album. And you have to tell me if, if it's, it's yeah. BS. Yeah, if it's BS or if it's actually true. Yeah. And then he tells me whether it's true or not. Yeah. And then I pick three from your collection. This is Becky's collection. It's very small. It's very small. I'm going to pick out three and we're going to do the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So, who wants to go first? I don't know. Do you want... I, I, can I pick out it first? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Pick away. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let's go down here. Stay away from that area. What? No, I'm kidding. What? <laughs> Okay, um, I want to pick something hard for me, so I'm pretty gullible, and okay. I don't know any, I'm picking artists that I don't know anything about, so I... Alright, let's go with this one first then. Okay. We're doing one by one. Okay. Pink. Pink. What do you mean you don't know nothing about Pink? I mean, I've heard her stuff, but I don't know anything about her. Didn't you know that, you know, she's, she's amazing. That's true. Actually, yeah, I believe that. Every album that she ever put out, she always wore makeup. Do you know that? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty confident. This album here is Beautiful uh, Trauma. Beautiful Trauma. And it was probably one of her best albums that she put out to recent, okay? She's working on another album. Actually, I think it already came out. This one here actually is very popular in the YouTube world right now because she has a lot of clips out there of concerts and interacting with young girls. I'm not lying here. <laughs> it, 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 uh, with her fans and she hugged them and she, she sang one time with, yes. <laughs> yes. Are you gonna keep going or? Well, okay. It's a real good album, though. Yeah, I know it is, but I don't believe you because you said it's this year, and no, this stuff was good. Uh, that was all happening in 2018. Wow, come on. <laughs> <laughs> but the YouTube thing was true. I actually didn't know about that part. Yeah, but uh, she, this beautiful, uh, is that tra trauma? I believe so, yeah. I, don't I can't know. even read the I can't read it either. <laughs> Yes, uh, it's it's on YouTube quite a bit, her concerts, and she was doing, bringing people Yeah, up. I've seen some of those, but yeah. yeah. So I would say this is the album that uh, is showcased the most on YouTube right now. Okay. You want to pick out mine now? All right, picking out yours. I'm going to sit in my chair. <laughs> Got it. Oh, that was fast. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Here we go, here we go. So I know nothing about this, but I've seen it in there and I want to I want to I want to know some stuff about Okay, it. straight out of Compton. So this, first off, let me give state some facts. It's a motion picture because it was actually a movie called Straight Out of Compton. This is the soundtrack to it. I believe it because it says that there. Yeah. And then these these are actually the guys from not the movie but the actual group. The singing group? Yeah, NWA. Okay. These are the actual guys. All right. Not sure if I should believe or not. Yeah. Well, look, 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 look! It's got their names on the back, like the actual artists. Do you think they put their artist names or the actual actors? If it weren't, if these guys were the actors, you know? Ice Cube. I know that guy. Yeah. See, he's so part. Him. Yeah. Okay, I believe that yeah. part. Okay. Okay. What um, else about this? Let's see. See, here it is. See, this is so, cool. Is that real jewelry? You got. You got to show show people. You guys show people. <laughs> is that real jewelry? So yeah, this was like a really big deal when it came out. Mm -hmm. and that's why they had a thing. And it's all based upon an actual true story of the band, NWA. Okay. Yeah. I believe every bit of that. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. 
It's a mix. These what? guys, these are the actors. That's the actors? Yeah. That's not actually Dr. Dre. Easy E, he's uh, died. And then, I don't remember about these guys. But these guys are all actors. I don't actually know this album very well, so it was really hard making a story about it. But, yeah. Did a good job. I know, right? right? My turn. I didn't know you had a Dean Brody. Yes. Oh, that's a I, good one. Yeah. Let's just do this one. Dean Brody? Yeah, I okay. like him. Dean Brody, we That's actually got to see Dean Brody in concert. All three of us. Well, you guys got to, you and Mom got to see him twice. I only got to see him once. Yeah. It was a good show. And we got VIP. And actually, I actually got to meet him. Yeah, we all did. And. You guys joked around a lot. You guys seem to. Alright, I guess I won't use that. Because I, I, okay, but I'll tell you guys. I met Dean Brody and went and took a picture. And we did a selfie. Everyone was doing these VIP selfies and stuff. And <laughs> and I just go up there. I'm just like, hey man, can we just use my phone and uh, we just make a weird face or something? And then I just made a weird face. And he made a straight face. And then I made a weird face. And then and vice versa. We couldn't get in sync. But uh, do you still have that photo? I do. I oh, hope man. if I can find it, it'll be on this video. You'll see it somewhere here. If you don't see it, I don't have it. <laughs> I hope you still do. I remember seeing that photo. It was great. Okay. So Dean Brody, Canadian boy, uh, making it big. He's been making it big for a couple years. This was Gypsy Road. This is off of his uh, recent tour as of two years ago. And it was a really great album. Uh, very... The style of country that I like, I can say it's kind of like the 90s country, but uh, not completely. But uh, Alberta boy. So yeah. I believe everything but the Alberta part. Yeah, I don't know where he's from. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think he's from Alberta, but I believe everything else. Yeah, the, yeah. I won't actually know where he's from. Okay. Oh my god, he's 44. I did not know that. Two Juno Awards. Where is he from? I don't know. It just says Canada. What do British look? Columbia. British Columbia. Alberta. British Columbia is in Alberta. Oh man, I'm getting picked on by the Canadian geography people. All right, let's go. We're going to the next one. Isn't British Columbia just BC? <laughs> Isn't it like right around the corner from Nova Scotia? Somebody pull up a map. Okay, in editing, editing me, I'm going to pull up a map right here. Figure out where British Columbia is because my geography from grade 9 isn't British picking Columbia. Oh, uh, Alberta, I said. Yeah, you said Alberta. He's from British Columbia. BBC is BC. You're right. I'm so confused. Okay, I'll do this one. Okay, okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, I can have some fun with this one. Okay, this is a... Probably actually my favorite album by Eminem. He's got great stuff on here. He did a lot of different like Sorry, whoa. Let me try this again. <laughs> Just... yeah, 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 yeah. Sniff a lot of coke or what? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am her dad. <laughs> That's all staying in. <laughs> okay, so this is Eminem, probably my favorite um, album by him. And he did a bunch of collabs on here. He does a lot of collabs with Dr. Dre, and because he collabs a lot with him. Right. This was probably he has like this character that he does. I wouldn't. I don't know if I'd say character that he does called Slim Shady. He's almost like a suicidal character. So this album was a lot about um, suicidal stuff, and as you can tell from the gun pointing uh, in the back. Yeah. It was very suicidal and murderous. It was just a show for a character, so he's, he's really not like this. But it was just for show, as you can tell. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's actually pretty... You know what? I... Are, are you done with that one? Yeah, yeah, that's it. I believe all that. Good, because it's all true if you listen Be to the songs. Because I don't listen to his music, but I do remember Slim... Slim Shady. Sh Slim Shady. It's such a great character. Because people just call me Slim Jim. <laughs> but... Is it Slim Jim like a piece of meat or something? Well, like yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, yeah, I I want to listen to that sometime. It's good, but it's uh, it's a lot of darker theme stuff. You might like the song Mockingbird. Right. Actually, no, you'd definitely like it. Um, Ex Exclusive production by Dr. Dre. Yeah, Dr. Dre was actually the reason why Eminem started up 
We signed together. Cool. Yeah. All right, your turn. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, I'm You're definitely... so much better at this. Because I'm an improver. Oh, I'm out of coffee. Oh, please say, please say, Canadian group. Another Canadian accent. You want to yes. Here? This is Bare Naked Ladies. This is their very first album that they ever put out. And this was actually their uh, 25th anniversary, quite obvious, because it's right there. Uh, and it has Brian Wilson on it, Blame It On Me, and If I Had A Million Dollars. You sing that song so much. If I Had A Million Dollars. That song actually caught on really quickly in the 90s. Was it the 90s? I think it was the 90s. Uh, in the United States. In the United States, they actually made that song really good. We were surprised when these boys actually couldn't make it in Canada. They really couldn't at the time. But yet, when they went down to the States, they started getting, receiving a lot of, you know, positive feedback and stuff. But, they always had these cool looking things here. This is space. NASA! So even though they're Canadian, they idolize the United States. And NASA you can see... Works, NASA, oh yeah. I was going to say, but NASA works has a big play in Canada. There's the Canadian flag right there. Okay. And this ball actually is like a high school ball, the bouncy ball. And they came out, that's their main logo. So that's it. I believe everything but the ball. I'm so confused about the ball thing. Um, well, there was other things in there. Wait, seriously? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh... Actually, I was full-blown believing and then you started talking about the bouncy ball in high school and I was just, like, my mind just kind of was like... It was just out the window. I was like, uh, what are we talking about here? I forget how many BS I put in <laughs> <laughs> I told you. I, I don't think it's their first album. Well, did you say it was their first album? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't catch that part. I know it's definitely not that. Yeah. Consider you said it's the 21st anniversary. So why the 25th. hell would it be the 25th? Whatever the hell would it be the first album? No, when they put oh, it out. Oh, we got it. Okay. And they don't idolize. I just made that up. I made that up for, for the American people. I, I'm gullible. <laughs> I'm very gullible. I'm bare naked ladies. Idolize United States. <laughs> I, I don't think they ever said anything like that. I but, doubt it. Uh, maybe they do. I don't know. And, uh, yeah, that, that's not why they're wearing an American flag in there and all that stuff. I have no idea. So, <laughs> but, <laughs> but the one million dollar, uh, 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 yeah, that did make it pretty big in the United yeah, States. Yeah, I know Every, that for a fact. Everywhere that they went back in the day, they they wanted to hear that at the time. That Everybody was their, wants to hear that song. That was like their number one biggest hit, and that was their breakout song. Uh, so. so this is your last one. Yeah. Make it a good one. Making it a good one. Make it... Oh yeah! If for, you, so, blah, 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 blah. for you guys that don't know, this was my first album I ever bought and probably my favorite Green Day album. This is Dookie. Yeah, like the piece of poo. Okay, so let's have some stuff. Okay, so on the back here, this used to have a Sesame Street character. Like the very first one they printed had a Sesame Street character flying around a puppet from the actual crowd that was actually picked out. He was flying out there, but for some reason, um, they just had it as like the first album, had it, they took it out for the rest of the album, so literally I don't have the one with the character in it, but mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Only like the first like 100 albums or something had yeah. him. It was like Ernie, it was like Bert and Ernie or whatever. Oh, okay, Ernie, yeah. Whatever. Uh, he was flying through here and then mine doesn't have it because mine's not a special album. Um, let's see. Yeah, they have this weird thing too with like dogs. Like you see the lot, and then the dogs come out. Like I don't know why, but through the years, this, these dogs flinging feces became like a big thing, and it just came up more and more as Green Day got bigger. And it comes up as like an inside joke in the Green Day fandom thing. These dogs throwing poo. 
dog throwing poop? Yeah, there's dogs throwing poop, man. Like, you poop load there, and then you got a poop load there, and then the poop is here, and some more poops are here, and um, that's a big the bridge right there. That's a really big one. <laughs> See, there's so many. Like, there's like one, two, three, four, five. Oh, those two are, those two are getting it on. <laughs> no, seriously, seriously. I just noticed this one. Can you see it? Yeah, I just noticed that. Uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, the dog thing became a huge deal. Um, and somewhere in here, I don't know where, because it's like a Where's Waldo thing, there is one of the guys, I think it's Trey, the drummer, in here, somewhere, I, I don't know where, but he's in there. That's what I was told, I read somewhere that he's in there. And I also read the fact that the reason why it looks all like crayony is the guys actually drew out their thing and they just had it like printed and um, for their album. Okay, I believe all of that that you just said, but I don't think they're that artistic. I don't know, they design most of their stuff themselves. Oh, and they always do this weird thing with God, see? They have God come up a lot and stuff, so that's why God's up there. Okay, all right, yeah, you're the Green Day expert, and that seemed really believable, so I believe all that. Okay, because a lot of that was bull. What? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, <laughs> you already have thing, burger I knew anything? that was. That is a real thing, that is real facts. That's why I thought that's it real. was real. Yeah, that's why I started with that, because I knew if I started with a thing, you'd start believing it. Because that was actually a thing, I just don't have that album. The God thing, I have no idea why they just, or not religion, just they just believe in God, and I have no idea, but they always have some sort of God thing that I just kind of elaborate on to that. Uh, the crayon thing, I have no idea who designed this. Um... I was wondering. Trey, as far as I know, he's actually not in here. I have no clue. I overheard somewhere, but I don't actually know. I've never seen him. Oh, so. okay. Um, and then the throwing feces thing. I don't know what's up with that. I just kind of made it up because I noticed there's a lot of That was good. Yeah, I don't... I, that was good. <laughs> I have no idea what's up with that. I believe that Green Day, yeah, the Rebelliation, the Green Day, and punk That's music. And I, I, I was thinking that was a I real thing. I have no thing. idea what's up with the <laughs> shit. I really don't know what's up with all the poo in this. But yeah. All right. So is that you got one more? Um. No, that's, no it. that's it. That's it. That's it. So, who won? I don't know. I didn't know how to keep it. I. Down. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but that was fun. Anyhow, that's it. You guys did the counting, didn't you? Tell us who won. I don't want to do it <laughs> post editing, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. For us, Golden Funnel Spin Cafe, I hope you enjoyed this. If you want to see something like this again in the, in the future, maybe we will incorporate this into our Golden Funnel Spin Cafe Sunday morning show, or that may not be a good idea because it might make it a little bit too long. But let us know in the comments what you think, and if you want to see us do more of this. Thank you for watching Golden Funnel Spin, and remember, keep spinning.